Welcome back to another gadget report. Let's talk gadgets. And this week we're not talking exactly about gadgets, but about airports. You know, I have recently been to Portugal and now I've been doing reviews of airlines, of places I stayed, um, everything. And now uh, it's time to get to the airports. And let's talk about um, this week. I'll be talking about Sydney Airport. And next week, I will be talking about Lisbon Airport. So stay tuned. This week, I'll be um, talking about um, the situation with the uh, Sydney Airport. How did I find it? Was it easy? Um, my honest opinion about my experience while traveling through Sydney Airport. So come with me. Let's talk about Sydney Airport. So today, I decided to talk about Sydney Airport. Um, it's um, it's a review of my experience um, going through uh, uh, the airport, both when I departed uh, to Portugal and coming back. Um, it was a, a, a good experience, experience overall. I, I'm not saying that uh, it was bad or, for example, service or anything like that. I have absolutely no complaints on that regard. What I have to say is that on arrival, the situation with the passports are um, creating a, a little uh, duplication of, of processes first, and that it also leads to a, a, a tiny bit of confusion. So what happened was our flight arrived, our Finnair flight arrived, and once we got to the terminal, um, one of the, um, you know, ground staff um, redirected all um, Australian citizens to be on a queue to scan their passports. Uh, if you have children under 18, you cannot go through that queue and you go straight to the queue of the immigration offices. That's fine. So far, so good. Um, but even there, there was a, a, a bit of confusion. People were not aware uh, exactly where they were going to go. Um, and then you have the tourists in the mix, people that obviously are not Australian citizens. And it was a tiny, um, a little bit uh, confusing uh, there. In our case, we had our daughter. So uh, obviously we skipped that queue and we went straight to the immigration offices. The situation with this, and here is the duplication, is that those um, uh, people, so those Australian citizens that had scanned the passport in that queue, they would then end up in the same queue that we were as well, because they still had to show their passport to the immigration offices. So um, it's a little bit of a duplication here, and I will be talking about this next week in regards to Lisbon, where you just go, you scan the passport in front of the officer and you through and it's easy. So I'll be talking about Lisbon next week. So I believe Sydney must be in the process of getting this system fully implemented. And that's why we are having um, this duplication and sort of confusion here. Then you go and join the queue and the situation, it's, it's, it's normal, you just get there, you show the passport to the officer and you go through and no problem at all. Um, another situation, and this is for everyone with children under 18. You might think, I know we did, you might think that uh, because they're minors, they cannot sign uh, an official paper on their own, you might think they do not need to fill in the immigration entry card. Well, that is incorrect. Um, in fact, they also have to have a, an entry card. Um, you sign on their behalf as parent, uh, but the immigration officer will need to cite that card and will need to uh, see the child, cite the card, etc. So uh, be aware of that um, because in our case, we thought um, our daughter wouldn't need uh, the card and then we ended up having to go back, fill in the card and then 
uh, get back to the immigration officer uh, for him to uh, cite the passport and the cards and let us through. So uh, that's another thing that you should be aware of if you're going, um, if you're arriving in Australia and you arriving with a minor, be aware that he or she also needs to have an Australian um, entry card because that's the regulation. So um, don't uh, do the same thing that we did because then uh, the immigration officer will just ask you to go fill in the card and then go back uh, for them to let you through. Uh, we did not have to queue again. The, of the officer told us you can just come back and we do it. Uh, however, obviously is uh, time wasted because we needed to go back and fill in the card. <clears throat> so um, this is the, the confusing part. Then uh, apart from that, I think uh, everything is pretty straightforward. Um, the luggage, uh, it's uh, quite easy. We got there, the, the luggage was already coming, didn't take long at all to get our uh, luggage. Even um, our uh, daughter's um, car seat, uh, because uh, uh, as you know, uh, if you have prams or car seats or anything like that, it has to travel on the oversized luggage and therefore then you have to go to a different carousel to get that oversized luggage. Um, and I went there, didn't take long at all um, to come, it was there, we just grabbed it and go. So it was a pretty uh, quick uh, process. So um, very functional, I would say. Um, then going through customs, we, we had nothing to declare. We didn't bring any food or anything. So it was just go through customers. The immigration officer, as, as always, uh, he checks the entry card. He sees that we have nothing to declare. So we just go through the queue that nothing to declare and it's pretty straightforward, you just get out and is easy. So I would say that um, the traveling through uh, Sydney airport is easy. Uh, I uh, overall enjoyed it, it's very functional uh, and quick to get things done. Just this tiny little um, confusion now with the passports, I believe this must be because the airport is still under the transition for this um, uh, fully uh, scanning of passports, etc., And that's why it's creating this uh, issue. I, I think that uh, in a few months, this would probably be completely solved um, and uh, it will go back to uh, normality. Um, so today I decided to give you my review and also telling you about the immigration, uh, the entry card, because I think this is something that some parents may not know. I know that we we didn't uh, and we end up having to go back and fill in the entry card. So don't forget, if you are traveling with minors, you have to fill in a card for them because it's, law, it's, it's required by law. They still have to have an entry card to enter Australia. <laughs> For today, I hope you like this um, gadget report. I hope you like this um, review, sort of speak, of Sydney Airport. Uh, and you are now prepared for this little um, thing at, uh, at, at a, on arrival uh, that may uh, cause a little confusion. So uh, if you are an Australian citizen, you're not traveling with minors, you would scan your passport and then you would go to the immigration officers. Um, if you travel with minors, you don't scan your passport there, you just go straight um, to the immigration officers because you have to take your minors with you. Uh, don't forget the, uh, the entry card for everyone. Every single person uh, has to have an entry card regardless of age. Um, and um, apart from that, you'll be fine. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. Um, overall stuff is um, always friendly and not a problem there. Uh, and you get things done quick. L my experience with luggage was that was pretty, pretty good. Um, arrived fast, 
on the parter was also good in terms of my um, child uh, seat um, that I had to go and take to the to the uh, oversized luggage as I mentioned in my video about Qantas um, the the staff member uh, helped me saw that I needed to go to the oversized luggage and he promptly um, grab a bag to put it to protect it a little bit more um, I must say it was the only airline that offered me that no other airline offered me that um, in my travels uh, it was only Qantas on that flight um, and it was pretty good um, so I think everything was um, good and functional um, just this tiny little bit which might be caused by um, things not being fully implemented yet that may be causing this duplication and confusion um, so if you have any um, subject that you would like me to discuss in this um, gadget report please leave a comment below and I'll be very happy to accommodate it or if you have any questions that you would like me to answer the same thing leave a comment below and I will be happy to answer all your queries um, and you know put a like on the video and subscribe the channel with a little click on the bell so you get a notification of a new gadget report every week before I go I would like to thank you all for watching see you next week have a good one bye